Do you know how to write a function in slope-intercept form? Let's take a look at some given information. Let's say your slope is equal to 2, and you know that the function of 2 is equal to 6. Now, you've been given some information. Do you know how to use this information to write the equation of a line? Well, first, you have the slope. And then you have some information here. Function of 2, normally in a function it says the function of x. So we can say that x is 2 and y is going to be 6. Now we have a point on the line too. Our next step is to use the slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b y equals, we can substitute the 2 in for the slope m, x, plus b. We don't know b. That's what we're going to have to solve for. But we do have an x coordinate and we have a y coordinate that can be substituted into this equation. 6 is equal to 2 times 2 plus b. 6 is equal to 2 times 2, which is 4 plus b. We can subtract 4 from both sides of this equation and we get 2 is equal to b. Now we can go back and finish writing the equation. So we have y is equal to 2x plus 2. Here's our equation or our function in slope-intercept form. Now what if you had a problem like this one? What if you'd been told that your slope is equal to negative 4 and the function of 3 is equal to 6? How could you work with this? Well first, just like before, we have the function of 3, which we could say is the function of x. So we have 3 6 as one point on the line. Now let's work with slope-intercept form. y equals negative 4 for slope x plus b. Now let's substitute these two values for x and y into the equation. 6 equals negative 4 times 3 plus b. Now I'm going to multiply here. 6 is equal to negative 4 times 3, which is negative 12, plus b. And if I add 12 to both sides, I have 18 is equal to b. My final equation is y equals negative 4x plus 18. Here's my equation in slope-intercept form and my work is now complete.